to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Fighting Spirit Mania. Feels like a good intro to go along with the fancy new overlay, which hopefully gets captured in the recording. Upper left-hand corner, we have... Ooh, these colors. Can I? Yeah, I'll just do that swap. Ah, do I want to do that swap? We'll leave it this way. No, I want the colors that way. Upper left-hand corner, we have Musuchi starting as the blue Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the red Zerg. Thus far, Musuchi's sweeping set one, mostly on build order advantages. And it's... He can't keep getting away with it. We'll see if Rancor can steal some matches. I would not be shocked. I would be... I, I, this is what would be shocking to me, is if Masuchi somehow managed to sweep, because that is so rare in ZBZ, and honestly, just to coin flip that many times in a row and be able to nail it, unless he's just absolutely in Rancor's head. That would be... Anyway. Upper right-hand corner, Overlord Scout moving to check the base over there. Bottom section... So both players basically not going to get the early Overlord Scout. That is going to be advantageous for both of them down the line. Well, it'll be advantageous if one of them opts for uh, Mutalisk Opener <clears throat> or whoever opens for earlier Mutalisks because the Overlord will be more out of place. Uh, or I guess whoever... Let me reverse that. If anyone opts to not go Mutalisks, it will be advantageous because the Overlord was potentially out of the way. Rancor going for an in-base 10 hatch. So he went for the Extractor Steel, is going for in-base... Uh, 10 hatch. Usually, this is an indicator of a Zergling Flood. Masuchi in the opposite corner looks like he went for an Overlord first uh, 12 hatch. This is one of those section builds where I'm like, I'm not entirely sure how this works out. He's going to go for Zergling speed as well. So the Larva advantage is going to go to Rancor. The economic advantage, however, is in Masuchi's favor, but Masuchi needs to recognize what's happening and respond accordingly. So he's gonna have a stronger economy to work with, for sure, especially because this isn't a base even at the natural expansion. However, he needs to recognize that he needs to get something colonies down uh, and other defenses uh, to make sure that he's gonna be okay. Let's see what'll be a big indicator here on Rancor's side as to whether he's just doing, and this usually this is speed zergling and nothing but, is whether he pulls off after 100 gas. We'll try to get an eye on that. In the meantime, Masuchi is going to go for an expansion. He'll probably want to cancel that because that's going to be very, very challenging to defend. Rancor now getting that 100th gas. We do see drones pulling off now and Zergling speed on the way. Initial Zerglings being produced. Initial Zerglings out for Masuchi as well. And here's the other critical bit. As Rancor is starting to field Zerglings down just a drone, by the way, so this is going to be razor thin, is Masuchi going to scout it? So the ramp is getting blocked currently. This Overlord is along the way, so there's going to be a period of time where Rancor is going to be able to build a large amount of Zerglings, and Masuchi's not necessarily going to know what's happening. Comparatively, it looks like that second Overlord got out much more rapidly in this direction for Masuchi because it was just obviously an earlier Overlord first uh, build. Second Hatchery is now up. Larva are now even, so... With the economic advantage and the larva advantage, Masuchi now in a good position. The Zergling's trying to hide to the south while this Overlord creeps forward because this Overlord was spotted. So this is basically Rancor trying to buy himself some time to build more and more Zerglings. Zergling speed is finished. Another Overlord is out, but he's going to want to move, want to boogie in not too long. Currently, Masuchi holding position. He's making his way towards a lair. So there's a timing window that Rancor wants to hit, where he can just flood in Zerglings and continue to flood in Zerglings. Currently does have the supply lead, and keep in mind, this is down three drones, so this is a lot of Zerglings comparatively. The Zerglings now moving out as the Overlord is in position, seeing this, a Sutton Call needs to be dropped immediately for Masuchi. He is building additional Zerglings to try to cover the difference. Drones pulling off gas, one being left there. They're uh, it looks like he's going to try to counter-defend this with drones. Does he have Zergling speed? I missed whether he upgraded Zergling speed or not. I assume because these Zerglings seem to be getting out of the way. There's the Creek Colony being dropped to build the Sutton Colony. Rancor engaging at the natural expansion. Pretty decent coverage for Masuchi. A lot of these Zerglings not in this fight. Now repositioning and re-engaging the battle drone in the midst of this as well. And Masuchi looks like through close reinforcement points, having a stronger economy in Larva and a bad initial engagement, Rancor, oof, yeah, that was a bad engagement for Rancor. I think Rancor felt the pressure to to engage as rapidly as possible because he knew there was a very thin window for him to win this match. 
and so ends up losing game one in set two. Masucci continuing at the win streak. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to game two of set two. Thanks for listening.